This is an ASUS TF101, also known as the Transformer Pad. Here it is with the optional keyboard dock. And this particular machine is rooted and running Android 5.1 Lollipop. I'll just boot it up real quick. Take a look at the boot time. Uh, this was actually really, really easy to do. It was basically one click root, and then I installed. Uh, I believe Team Win Recovery, yes, Team Win Recovery Project, TWRP, and Kit, uh, this ROM, I already missed the splash screen, so I forget what it is, but you'll see what it is, and I'll see what it is when I go to about, <laughs> uh, I prepared for this, uh, but it is Android 5.1 Lollipop, which is the latest version, to my knowledge, and as of, well, this video, more or less. It runs really well, and I will start off by saying it runs much better than stock. Everything about this is better than the stock ROM. When I got this, it had the Android 4.0 stock uh, operating system installed, and it was terrible. Even after multiple hard resets, every optimization I could even imagine, it was still awful. So there you see it's booted. I'll just uh, bump the camera with my elbow and take this off the dock for a little bit of a closer look. There we go. So... Here is the tablet, there is my light. Let's see if I can angle this. Not really, but we'll try anyway. All right, so there you can see the time. Yay, it's 5.30. I'm just unlock and there straight to the home screen. This is using, I'm not entirely sure which launcher this is. I believe it's just the stock launcher. Yep, there we go, stock. Android 5.1 launcher. You can see even scrolling there, there is a little bit of lag but it still feels relatively responsive. You can see how much, oh man. Yeah, sometimes it will just kind of be non-responsive. It's obviously not as fast and fluid as a modern device is going to be. This is a really, really old device, but it is still, like I said, better than the stock ROM. So let me just pull down here and go to the settings. There we go, and you can see it's got the double wide settings because this is in tablet mode, and if I rotate, it still stays like that. I'll go back to landscape so you can see it a little better. Scroll down, go to about tablet here. There we go. Oh, come on, phone focus. There we go. Transformer TF-101 on Android 5.1.1. Da, 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 stuff, yay. It's really all about you, all that you get there. You can't really tap on any of these and get more stuff. Status. Yay. Battery status and all that stuff. None of it's really that interesting. So, some things that this ROM has. And I'll have a link to this ROM in the bottom. You get user interface settings, which can let you change interface mode. So you can hide this bottom bar with the action buttons. You can hide the status bar up here. Never did get why you'd want to do that. I tried it, and it honestly made Android 10 times harder to use, even with the keyboard. Um, and that's called immersive mode. You can change it to switch modes when you dock it and when you undock it. You can change how the batteries, the battery indicator over here works, whether it shows percentage or not. So that's something that's different from stock. Advanced app permissions, you can control what has access to what so like if you think that it's a bit ridiculous that a clock application has gps access you can turn that off and i have seen some that try to get that and i proceeded to not install them you can set filters for the media scanner service for you know if you have like a folder full of ringtones that you want don't want to be playing when you're in the middle of playing your music on shuffle going through your whole library there and you do have some performance options. You can change uh, all of your CPU scaling and frequencies and such like that. You can overclock, which I did have some mild success overclocking as far as 1.5 gigahertz up from the 1 gigahertz stock. But anything past that and the device was prone to freezing and anything more than stock and you just end up with bad with worsened battery life anyway, and honestly, battery life with this ROM is pretty fantastic, especially when you go and you dock it, like that, uh, and then I have to get back down here so I can use it, uh, mouse works, all of the buttons work, where are the brightness ones, I can get brighter, I can get dimmer, though there's no on-screen display for that, and I'm not sure why, 
uh, make that as bright as possible. I can, you know, volume buttons work as usual. Oh, nope, let's make that dimmer, because now you can't see anything. There we go. Mouse works, home button works, search, that also works. I don't, yeah, okay. Menu button works as well, though honestly, depending on context, it may or may not work. Sometimes it just kind of flips out because the menu button is kind of deprecated. Multi-finger gestures also work on this ROM, and very well, might I add. This is actually, the TF-101 has a very, very nice touchpad. It's a bit, it, it, it could stand to be bigger, honestly, and the buttons are kind of, eh, eh, they're kind of iffy. The whole thing could stand to be bigger, but it's a very wide aspect ratio. It is pretty pleasant to use, and the multi-finger gestures are pretty consistent. And I rarely have issues with them. Lock button. That works too. Turns off the screen. Can't turn the screen on with any of the buttons for whatever reason. You have to go over and use the power button on the other side. There we go. I didn't hit the screen hard enough, apparently. You've got page up, page down, home and function. You've got arrow keys, which you can use if... Uh, I don't know why. They work for some video games, I have found. But that's basically it. As far as need to know on this, a little bit of a... You know, just a little bit of how it performs and such, just doing some basic functions, scrolling around here and scrolling on the settings menu. This is my personal use, so I don't really want to get too deep in here and show any personal information because that means instead of uploading a straight video to YouTube that I have to go edit it and render it, and I am far, far too lazy to do all of that crap. I do use Office Suite, though, and it runs excellent on here and makes this a rather capable... I'll just click that with the mouse. A rather capable productivity machine, except that it appears to have frozen when trying to launch it, which is an excellent job at proving my point. Thank you for coming through with me there, Tablet. You're, you're a good buddy. Good buddy. Something interesting while waiting for that to do whatever. Not sure how well this will come through. But right there in the corner, there they are. Two indicators for battery levels. Yep, office suite froze. Good job. Two indicators for battery levels. One of which is the onboard battery, one of which is the battery in the keyboard. This right here is the biggest reason for going to an aftermarket ROM. Because the stock battery indicator is only the one in the tablet. The one in the battery is not kept track of in the stop, stock ROM. So it'll be depleting, and the indicator up here will stay at 99 or 100, depending on, you know, how much it's keeping it charged. And then when this depletes, that will finally move off of being pegged at 100. So you really have no idea what your true overall battery life is without having a stock ROM like this that shows that. Come on, Office Suite. Be a bro. You can do it. I used to use this all the time. I haven't touched this machine in quite a while. There we go. I don't care. Oh, no, I accidentally declined the terms of service agreement, which closed the program. Good job, me. So let's just go in to a document. I'll pivot this this way a little bit so I can type. And it froze again. I'm not sure if this is the ROM. Ow! Not sure if this is the ROM, if this is Office Suite, or if this is just a slow processor that's giving me all these issues. Because I'm pretty sure it did work before. Maybe I had it overclocked then. Uh... This was a triumph. I'm making a note here. Holy lag. It's hard to type on keys that are so tiny. Yay. Typing at a weird angle on smaller than usual keyboard keys, but there you go. It's Office Suite. It's a, it's a decent Office uh, program and it runs acceptably enough on here to type up a report or what have you in a pinch, but I would not rely on it as your only option. But there you go, just a little look there at the Asus Transformer Pad TF-101 running Android 5.1 Lollipop. I do like this knurled texture back here. It's classy. This whole machine's just classy. And that's it.